You should be ashamed of yourself. You're really despicable. All right. All right, you guys may be seated. All right, plaintiff, go ahead, start. Thank you, Your Honor. As you can imagine, life is hard enough for my client who is disabled. But what makes it even harder is dealing with negligent business owners like the defendant here. <laughs> that is not what's going on here. Wait your turn, defendant. You may continue. Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. My client here was using the restroom at the defendant's place of business. He was trying to get up when... May I approach the bench, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Thank you. As you can see, my client was holding on for dear life to grab the bar for support. But it was improperly attached, causing him to fall on the floor and injure his head. Thankfully, I was nearby to help take the photos. But if the defendant wasn't trying to cut corners, and do such a shoddy I did not try to cut any corner. Hey, you can speak when it's your turn. Continue. But if the defendant wasn't so negligent in installing that bar, my client wouldn't be in a neck brace today. Therefore, we are demanding the defendant to pay $25,000 in damages and all attorney fees. $25,000, that's gonna- Order. I'm not gonna tell you. Be quiet again. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Go ahead and finish. That's all I have, Your Honor. But the evidence, it speaks for itself. All right. Now, what do you have to say about all this? Okay, look, that crab bar was not negligently installed. I did it myself, and I know I didn't cut any corners. How do you explain all these pictures, then? I don't know. Well, it looks like all of the evidence is heading in one direction. It's clear that the defendant is negligent in creating injuries to our plaintiff. Therefore, I have to rule in favor of the plaintiff. No, Your Honor, please. I'll have to close out my business. The decision's been made. Tomorrow, we'll get together and we'll talk about the damages. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I hope you learned your lesson. When you take advantage of people, it comes back to you. All right, uh, next case, uh, Tabitha Clemens versus Jake Odell. Amazing. Mm, like clockwork. <laughs> you really think we'll get the full 25 grand? Don't we always? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to squeeze out as much as I can in attorney fees. This thing is really starting to itch. My butt is really sore, so I'm just gonna stand. What are you doing? If anyone sees you, we'll both be exposed. Let's get out of here first. Plus, I found another business to hit up. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be an easy one. <laughs> this one has a dressing room that's perfect. Mm. So just give me a couple minutes and then come in. Okay, Pookie. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Your screwdriver is sticking out now. Whoopsies. <laughs> that would have been pretty bad, huh? <laughs> oh, hi. Welcome. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, sure. Oh. 
Hey, let me um, let me help you with that. Ah, oh, thank you. That's so kind. Uh, hi, welcome in. <laughs> <laughs> hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if I try this on in the back? Of course. Thank you. What was that? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Does it look like I'm okay? Here, let me help you. Ah, 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 no. Maybe you should just stay right there. Okay. Oh no. What happened? Well, I tried to grab this stupid grab bar, and it must have not been installed correctly because it fell when I was holding onto it. Ah! Oh, oh, I think I broke something. I'm so sorry to hear that. Would you like us to call you an ambulance? First, I want to talk to an attorney. Ah, okay, I can't find my phone. Here it is. Watch the lights. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, or, uh, uh, uh. I don't mean to overstep. My name is Stephanie, and I'm actually a personal injury attorney. Uh. I specialize in ADA cases. Really? And you would help me? Yes, of course. No one deserves to be treated like this. Especially someone in a wheelchair. Is it okay if I take some pictures? That's fine. Okay. Ah, ah, oh, it's cold. Why is it so cold? Ah. It's almost over. Ah. Uh, uh, girl. Tell the owner, he will be hearing from my office soon. This was really negligent of you guys. I'll let him know. And again, we're so sorry for what happened. You should be. Um, I just need one more second. Why are you taking pictures? Okay, look, this is gonna be hard to believe, but that guy was faking it all. He did the same thing to my business. Wow. Uh, yeah. You can tell just by looking at the holes. Well, what do you mean? Well, just look at the way that the screws came out of the wall. That's way too smooth to have been pulled out, so that means that somebody came by and unscrewed them. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> oh, you should have seen the look on their face. It was priceless. Oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before I forget, here's that settlement from the restaurant case last week. Wow. That is the easiest money I've ever made in my life. Well. <laughs> It was a pleasure doing business with you, as always. Mm -hmm. I better get going. So here is your wheelchair. Thanks. <laughs> ha! I got you now. What are you doing here? <laughs> you two are the biggest fraudsters on the planet. Can't wait until the judge finds out about this. Get ready to go to jail for a very long time. The judge won't find out about this. <laughs> what are you talking about? I got the pictures right here. Oh. You and yeah, 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 yeah. Stephanie. So where's your evidence now? 
Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Should I say cheese? Oh! So close. <laughs> okay, you know what? It doesn't even matter. No? I'll just tell the judge what I saw. Oh, and you think he'll believe you? <laughs> <laughs> you really don't think he's going to know what's going on here? When I tell him that you're going from business to business pulling off the same scam? Oh, well, it's not a crime to get injured at different places. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just a... an attorney. Well, not for long. <laughs> we'll see you in court. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, don't forget the checkbook. <laughs> okay, look, I'm telling you, Your Honor, this is all one big scam. I saw it with my own eyes. Is there any truth to this? None whatsoever, Your Honor. He's just trying to paint us in a bad light to avoid taking responsibility for his own negligence. I urge the court to issue punitive damages to punish the defendant for his lies. Well, you are accusing them of some very serious crimes. Do you have any evidence uh, to substantiate your accusations? Well, like I said, she cropped my memory card and then she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ate it? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I've heard some pretty outrageous stories in my day, but that one takes the cake. You can look up their court record. They have a history of filing cases against businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, even so, it's not illegal to have multiple injuries. In fact, it's kind of common among ADA cases, so my ruling stands. No, 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 no. Please. Look, that would mean I have to shut down my whole business and... Look, I'm telling you the truth, okay? You just have to believe me. Without proof, to substantiate your story, it's just hearsay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Do you have any evidence? No. All right, well then I hereby uh, award 25,000 to the plaintiff for the demand along with you know, another 10,000 for your attorney fees. Stop. Your Honor, the plaintiff and his attorney are both frauds. Liar! Who is this guy? I mean, why should we be listening to him? Oh, well, maybe because I'm the one with the folder full of photos of you committing fraud. Oh, and uh, for what it's worth, I'm an undercover federal agent. Your Honor, I've been investigating these two for quite a while now. Oh, wow. This is <laughs> unbelievable. Oh. And Looks like you've been telling the truth from the beginning, defendant. Oh. Okay, it was all her idea, she made me do it. Oh, be quiet! You're just as guilty as I am. Arrest those two. Arrest, <laughs> arrest me. You can't do that, I am an attorney. Get off of me! You were an attorney. I'm gonna make sure that you never practice law again. Oh. Get these handcuffs off of me! Well, <laughs> you're right about one thing. When you take advantage of people, it always comes back to you. <laughs> Wait, oh, what are you no, talking no, I, about? I cannot go back to prison. It's not a good place. I am an officer in the court of law. Thank you. Well, this case is dismissed. I'm sure it'll go fast. God, and this old geezer is taking forever. We're gonna be late for lunch. You know what? Let's go. No, you can't just... Dad! Uh... Hey! You can't just walk out without paying for something. Gum? No! I don't want any of your stolen gum. Okay, then I'll get your bad karma. <laughs> okay. All right, tell me you don't really believe in that, do you? I actually do. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. Well, I stole this gum, right? Where are you, Karma? Come and get me for this stolen pack of gum. I deserve it. Oh, no? You don't exist? If I was going to get caught, it would have already happened. 
Okay, that's not how it works. It's not always immediate, and sometimes it comes back to you in unexpected ways. Ted, you're not supposed to be parked there. It says reserved, probably for the owner. Look, there's plenty of open spots in the line. Look, I don't know who this Joe Cali guy is, but he's crazy if he thinks I'm paying $5 to park in his lot. Besides, he's probably some old geezer who can't do anything. Okay, if you say so. It's a cool jacket. I've never seen you wear that before. Oh, thanks. I just got it. Oh, let's go. We're gonna be late to lunch. That was delicious. Yeah. Good call on the place. Thanks. Here you are, sir. A glass of 2002 Robert Mondavi Cabernet Sauvignon. <whistles> Reserve. And your check. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> How are you paying for all of this? You got a new promotion? <laughs> no, why do you ask? What? A new jacket, nice restaurant, and expensive wine. Uh, <laughs> Can you give us a few moments? Oh, sure, no problem. Take your time. Why is he just standing there? Have you never ordered expensive wine before? No. He's waiting for you to try it. <laughs> oh, okay. Mmm, well. that's great. <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy. So awkward. Hundred and seventy-five dollars. What? Oh, Ted. Oh, the jacket. Oh, yeah. What jacket? Kiki, okay, okay, use this. Use this. Oh, yeah, thank you. No, 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 no. It's just making it worse. Oh, man, in red wine is impossible to get out. <laughs> what? Should have not stolen that gum. Oh, as if that has anything to do with this. You know what? Give me the bill. I want to go. One hundred dollars for a glass of wine? That is ridiculous. Didn't check the price before you order it? No, but I didn't think it was gonna cost a hundred dollars. You know what? Forget this. Here, I'll split it with you. Mm. Okay. No way, no chance am I paying that much. Oh, wow. Ow. Okay, besides that one wasn't even that good. I, she just drank the whole thing, so. Yeah, it's called not being wasteful, Randall. Listen, here's the plan. Give me your hand. I'm gonna walk out of here, wait a few moments, and then fall. Well, I'm not going to the dining desk, Ted. What are you, Ted? No, wait for Ted, where are you, Ted? Ted, just. Yeah. You're seriously unbelievable, you know that? Okay, what's unbelievable is how much they try to charge for a glass of wine. I could've bought a new jacket with that money. Okay, Ted, where's your car? What are you... Where did it go? <laughs> Yo, hey man! You can't tow my car. Oh yeah, well... It'll be 250 to get it down. <laughs> okay, you're insane. I'm not gonna pay you anything. All right, well, here's where you can pick up your car later. It'll be 350 by the time it gets processed. Yeah, no. You're not gonna tow my car. Get it down right now. Hey, man, you shouldn't have parked in Joe Cali's spot. He had to park his rolls in the lot. So that's the guy that got my car towed? Do not leave. I'm gonna go talk to him, okay? Stay! Hey, Gramps. Yeah, you. Why'd you get my car towed? Excuse me? Don't act like you don't know. You could have written me a note or, or got me a ticket. You didn't have to get me towed. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right. I need you to tell him to put my car down right now. Hey, I'm serious. Don't think I won't hurt an old man. Why do you think he would believe me? <laughs> because you're Joe Cali. No, I'm not. Okay, then who is? Did you just threaten my dad? Uh, no, 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 I, I would never do anything like that at all. You didn't just say you weren't afraid to hurt an old man? Um, I, if I did, I was definitely kidding. 
That's what I thought. Now, if I ever catch you parked in my spot. Uh, it... Joe, Mr. Callie, sir, it won't happen. Oh, but again, don't worry about that. And sir, have, have a great day. Sorry about the misunderstanding, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Callie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just, just me. <laughs> Keep walking. Okay. <sighs> can you take 200? 250 is all that I got. Nah, man, you can just pay the 350 down at the lot. Hey, no. Take it all. Just get my car down now. Yeah. $250. Are you kidding me? What a crook. <laughs> What are you smiling about? Well, I told you, you should have not parked. You're saving me the lecture, Randall. Ah. I mean, can today get any worse? <laughs> gum? Who spits their gum out on the ground? <laughs> These are new. Stop laughing, Randall. Stop lying. Okay, okay. okay. Well, I really hope all of this taught you a lesson. <laughs> I don't know about that, because I still got a free lunch, and... <laughs> there he is. That's the guy who stole the gum and skipped out on his tab. You, out of the car, now. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Mm, That's just unbelievable. I won't even say it. So you guys still down to rehearse at my place? Yes, sir. Is it cool if I bring Stacy? Yeah, Giselle wants to come too. It's fine by me. Bring all the cute girls you want. Afterwards, maybe we can all go out. Guess who? Oh. Uh, Brandy. Angela. Hey, baby. I was totally kidding. I knew it was you. You better be kidding, Jack. Um, what's up? I was kind of busy talking to the guys about rehearsal. I have a surprise for you, but it'll cost you a kiss. You know, I don't like PDA. Oh, right, sorry. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know you can get rid of that old guitar. No way. Are you serious? Don't tell me. It's the new guitar you saw at the store. Angela, baby, this is great. I'm speechless. It's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't wait to see you rehearse with it tonight. Oh, about that. The guys, they were saying they wanted it to be another band members only session. Band members only? We'll get more work done that way. Oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, you know, that makes sense. Oh, but we can hang out some other time later this week. Just two of us. I'd love that. Thank you so much. You are the best girlfriend ever. <laughs> oh, just gonna <laughs> save that for later. Okay. Well, I have to go to class, but I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. 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 Hi guys. <laughs> oh, yes! Yo, that's sick. Dude, that must have cost a lot. Benefits of dating a rich girl, my friends. You are so lucky to have a girl that buys you everything you want. That's exactly why I date her. I call her my little piggy bank. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder why you chose her, to be honest. Oh, it's just temporary. When our band blows up, we start getting paid. Then I won't need our money anymore. You know, you're just gonna kick her to the side? <laughs> That's brutal, bro. Rock stars only date the hottest babes, am I right? Hey, Jack. Hey. Well, it seems like you can get any girl now. Yeah, but it's too small of a school. Angela will find out. Can't lose out on my sweet situation, Chip. Angela is more loaded than those nachos she eats. I just gotta hold out just a little bit longer. Hey, you think you could maybe get her to Buy me some new drumsticks. I can try. Well, what else do you guys want? I'll make a list. A Rickenbacker bass would be nice. I'm, since you're asking, uh, you can just add a keyboard to that. You know. Well, if everyone's getting whole instruments, I want a new drum set. 
All right, I might be pushing it a little bit, but uh, Rickenbacker bass, keyboards, sticks, and and the stick. Okay. All right. This is so dope. Yeah. And another stage manager, so we should be able to get some pretty major connections. So does this mean we can get in for free too? <sighs> I wish. We still gotta pay for the ticket and for the flights. Unless, uh, unless we drive up and take Jack's car. Mm -mm. My car needs new tires and after I pay for them, I'm not even gonna be able to buy my festival ticket. Unless I can get Angela to pay for it. Think she would? That's good to get us all tickets too. Hey, let me get you girls chairs so you can eat with us. Thanks, babe. Hey guys, how was rehearsal last night? Oh, it was good. Yeah, real good. Wish you could have been there. Me too. If you guys ever have a night where it's not a guy. Awesome guy's... rehearsal last night. <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun. Wait, they were at your rehearsal yesterday? Mm hmm You said it was band members only. Uh, I did, and it was. Giselle and Stacy are in the band. All right, guys? Y yeah, there are backup singers. Mm -hmm. We just brought them on. They really add an extra level to the vocals. Oh. Okay, cool. Well, I can't wait to hear them. You guys going to a festival? Yeah, that's the goal at least. There's a, supposed to be a lot of industry people there. And we're hoping to maybe meet some music execs. Which can lead us to getting signed by a label. That's a good idea. And this looks Awesome. We should all go. It would be so fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about that. Babe, you don't want to go to this. You'd be so bored. What do you mean? Look at those bands. Can you name any of their songs? Uh, no. But I don't care. I just think it would be fun to go to a festival with my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, true. But it's just that it's gonna be another band member only thing. Not even the backups are allowed on this trip, unfortunately. So we can all stay really focused. But when I get back, we can go on our own trip somewhere. I promise. Okay, that sounds fun. Oh, but I do have a huge favor to ask. What's up? Would you be able to help me pay for my ticket? <clears throat> Our tickets, they go on sale tonight and, and none of us have any money. Hold on, you want Angela to pay for all of your tickets? No way, do not do that. We're gonna pay her back. It's just like a short term loan until we get our record deal, you know? Uh, I mean, you do believe in our music, right? Of course. Well, then you know we're good for the money. Please, please, beautiful. Uh, oh, please. I guess. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> that's a lot of money. You should think about this. I don't want to be unsupportive. Especially if it can help them get a deal. Exactly. This is crucial to our career. And when we blow up, we will always remember that you were the one that believed in us. I'm happy to help my baby. Oh, well. Anything for my Jackie yeah. Poo. Okay. <clears throat> well. Bad news. It's not just your tires. You're gonna need a whole new motor. No. Afraid so. 
You know, I'm actually surprised it hasn't broken down on you already. I don't have that kind of money. I understand. I'll go grab your keys, but be very, very careful. All right, and avoid driving on the freeways. Could be dangerous. I'm not trying to get stranded on the side of the road. Well, we do take credit cards. Yeah, that isn't an option. Maybe, maybe there's someone that you can call, ask to borrow some money or something? As a matter of fact, maybe there is. Just give me one second. Cool, good, no problem. Hey, we were just talking about you. You were? Of course, I'm always talking about you. You know that. By the way, did you check your inbox? I got the tickets. Seriously? Yep, I got them. You are honestly the best. Thanks. Are you at a mechanic shop? Yeah, and to be honest, I'm kind of in a bind. I may need another favor. Would you mind going into another room so we can chat for a sec? Uh, it's okay. Lisa and I talk about everything. Just tell me. Okay, well, I'm trying to fix my car and it's gonna cost four grand. What? That's so expensive. I know, which is why I was thinking. Do not give him any more money. She's not giving you money for your car. I'm not asking her to give me anything. Angela, can you go into another room so I can talk to you alone? Sure, just give me one sec. Just... What? Sorry. <sighs> okay, I'm alone now. I'm beginning to really not like your friend. Sorry, Lisa's just trying to look out for me. Yeah, but why does she need to look out for you with your boyfriend? I don't know. She thinks you're using me for my money and after you get what you want, you're just gonna leave me. What? I would never do that. You don't have to convince me. I keep telling her that, but she has trouble trusting people. Yeah, well, to be honest, I think she's just jealous. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's pretty obvious to me. I mean, you're dating a rock star, babe. She wishes she was you. That's why she's, she's just trying to ruin our relationship. You really think so? I know so. Even now when I called, she just assumed I was calling you about money. She wasn't worried about me or anything. Well, I'm worried about you. So what do you need? Well, I need to borrow four grand. So Lisa was right? No. She's saying, I'm asking you to give me money. I'm just asking you to let me borrow it. I know it's a lot of money, but if I can't fix my car, then I can't drive the guys to the festival, which means we can't get signed to a label. I don't know, Jack. You keep asking me for money and it's starting to hurt my feelings. Well, you don't think it hurts my feelings being a man and having to ask my girlfriend for money? The only reason I do it is because I know when my music blows up, I'm gonna be the one taking care of everything for you since you believed in me. And I love you. You do? I love you too. You know what, you're right. I I'll let you borrow the money. Besides, What's 4K in the grand scheme of things? You are incredible. Thanks, babe. I'm gonna tell the mechanic. Can you give me one sec? Sure. Good news. Got my girl to pay for it. So go ahead and start the work. That's great, man. How'd you manage to pull that off? Easy. Just lied to my girl, told her I love her. I got her eating out of the palm of my hand. I see. Um, anyways, uh, give me a couple of days. And I have your car ready for you. You can pay for it when you pick it up. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm all set. 
I'll send you the shop info so you know where to make payment. Okay. You know what? Since you're so amazing, let me take you out for dinner. My treat. Really? You want to do that for me? It's the least I can do. Pick me up at seven. You can choose the restaurant. Okay, I, I can't wait. I'll talk to you soon, babe. I love you. Please don't tell me you paid for his car. Don't worry about me, okay? He loves me. No, he doesn't. You should know the difference between being loved and being used. He's not using me. He's a good guy. He's even taking me on a date tonight. I feel like you're being naive. Like there's so many red flags. How so? I mean, it's pretty clear. He never wants to hang out with you and yet has other girls around. And most importantly, he treats you like a personal ATM machine. Please don't talk about my boyfriend like that. No. You need to hear this. Jack is using you, Angela. He only wants you for your money. When was the last time he did something nice for you? Hello, he's taking me to dinner. Only because you just agreed to give him $4,000 for his car. And do you think it's a good idea to be dating a musician? I see where this is coming from now. What are you talking about? Jack was right. You're jealous. <laughs> Come on. You're really letting him put that idea in your head? You know what? If that's what you want to believe, that's fine. One day you'll see everything for yourself. So, they should have the car ready in time for the trip. Oops, you dropped this. Oh yeah. I'll be right back with your check. Thank you. That was delicious. I am so full. Yeah, you crushed that pasta, babe. Do you want some of my leftovers? No, I'm stuffed, but thanks. Oh, don't be shy. I know my baby loves to eat. Jack, please. I don't, I don't want your leftovers. Stop. All right, fine. You say so. I appreciate you taking me out. I feel like we haven't done this in a while. Yeah, well, you deserve it. You're the best for helping me and the guys out. They are so excited for the festival. I'm glad. No rush, take your time whenever you're ready. Thank you. By the way, you are so pretty. I love that dress. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> well, someone wants a big tip. Or she meant it. I noticed she complimented my outfit and you didn't. What? Yes, I did. When I saw you. You said, wow, that dress comes in your size. That's awesome. Is that what I said? I'm sorry. You look very beautiful tonight. Well, now you're just saying that. No, I mean it. You're hot. Hey, I got it from here, babe. How about you grab your car from the valet while I take care of this? Are you sure you don't want to just wait and go together? Uh-huh. I'm sure. We'll be faster this way. All right, thanks again for dinner. Actually, babe, you won't believe this. I forgot my credit card. 
Would you mind? Uh, sure. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Love you. Love you too. All set? Yep. Hey, did I tell you I'm in a band? Really? We're pretty good. You should come watch us perform sometime. That sounds fun, but I don't know how much your girlfriend would like that. Girlfriend? Oh, she's just a friend. Are you sure? You look like a lot more than a friend to me. No, she's not my type. I'm much more interested in girls like you. Is that so? Definitely. If you want, I may be able to get you an extra ticket to the San Francisco Music Festival next weekend. I'm actually off that weekend. Oh, well, doesn't that work out nicely? Mm -hmm. I thought of some more stuff to add to the list. Maybe I should slow down. She seemed pretty annoyed on the car ride home last night. Probably shouldn't have asked her to pay for dinner. Oh, well, you got greedy. Think she's catching on? Nah, I don't think it's anything I can't fix. I just need to tell her I love her a few more times. That seems to be working. Well, great, because if you could get her to buy us a new amp, that'd be amazing. I'll put it on the list. I also need to ask her for another festival ticket. You called it to convince Angela to buy a stuff list? <laughs> That's hilarious. Convince Angela to buy you stuff, huh? I knew you were using her. You again? Angela told me you were trying to ruin our relationship. You ruined it yourself. Just wait till I show her this. Nice try. She'll never believe you, especially now that the note is gone. That's fine. I'll just tell her what I saw. You're one against four. And I'll just spin it like your jealousy's once again getting the best of you. That lie worked last time and it'll definitely- Work again? Babe, hey, how are you, my love? Oh, spare me. What? I feel so naive for not listening to Lisa when she tried to warn me. I'm really sorry. It's okay. And I just found out that- uh, You don't that want to listen to her. I actually regret not listening to her. You see? After I left the table last night, I realized that I had forgotten the valet ticket. When I came back to get it, guess what I saw? You getting the number of our waitress. I couldn't believe it. That's when I started looking into things more. After I got home, I decided to message Stacy. When I asked how band practice was going, she said she had no idea what I was talking about. Turns out, you lied about that too. And then, this morning, I stopped by the mechanic shop to let them know that I was no longer paying for your car to get fixed. As I was leaving, guess what the mechanic told me? That you said you had me eating out the palm of your hand. So you see, I now realize you never loved me. You just loved what you could get from me. I should have known the difference between being loved and being used. Angela. It's not what it seems like. I... Enough with the lies, Jack. Nothing you say will change my mind. Shall we? What? What about my car? They already started the work on it. I need to pay them. I guess that's your problem. What about the festival? We already got the tickets. I don't know, man. You gotta ask her. Uh, what about the festival? I'm guessing that's canceled too? 
Nope. I actually upgraded those tickets to VIP. You did? Yep. And I transferred them to all of our news. We're all going to the festival. Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. This is unbelievable. Oh, look at the bright side. At least you got a new guitar out of it. I guess that's true. Where is it anyway? Oh shit. It's in my car. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I actually changed my mind. I'm not ready to get the work done. It's a bit uh, too late for that. I already swapped out the motor. Well, can you take it out? Put my old one back in? Sure, yeah. Um, right after you pay me for the labor. I actually don't have any money. Is there any way I can get my car back and pay you later? Sorry about that, buddy. That's, that's not how it works here. All right, fine. Can you at least pop the trunk so I can get my guitar out? Um, I actually think uh, I'm gonna hold on to it. That's collateral. Hey, good morning. Yeah, I'll, I'll take two cream, no sugar. Uh, I'm not an assistant. I'm one of the background actors. Oh, oh my bad. I'm Bruno, or as the call sheet says, customer number one. Oh. Noah. What role are you playing? Customer number four. Oh, nice. I guess we'll probably be right next to each other in the scene then. Oh. See, the trick to being a good background actor No offense, but <laughs> I don't plan on being an extra for long. Well, most actors don't. I just know it took me a while before I got a part with any lines. Wait, no. you have lines. How did you get a speaking role? Oh, well, I... Bruno here is a legend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Say the line. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Oh, come on, just one time. Um... Okay, all right. Hey, that old lady is stealing food from the kids. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't get it. That was Bruno's big break. Yeah, um, one day an actor didn't show up to set. So the director decided to give me a shot. I guess they liked my delivery so much they kept having me back. And. I've got lines in almost every role since. Wait, wait. So you took someone else's part? I, I didn't even think that was possible. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't want to make it seem like it was part of any plan. It honestly kind of just happened. But I guess good things come to those who wait. Oh. I like to think of it as good things come to those who take action. So, wait, wait, where are you? <laughs> Uh, and let's make sure that we get sushi for Dylan's lunch. For everyone else, sandwiches are fine, but you know, he's a diva. Are you sure he's still coming? His call time was an hour ago. He's usually late, but he'll show. <clears throat> Excuse moi, Mr. Director, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you were Dylan. Oh. You look just like him. <laughs> well, no, my name is Noah. And I was wondering if you might have any speaking roles that need to be filled, like, you know, someone didn't show up. I would love to be bumped up from customer number four. Are you asking me for a bigger part? Yes, sir. What do I look like, the casting department? <laughs> no, all the roles are filled. I'm sure you'll do just fine as customer number uh, hey, four. Hey, Alex. Hey, Dylan. Oh, wait, you're not Dylan. Yeah, he looks just like him. <laughs> well, maybe if Dylan doesn't show up, <laughs> we can get this guy to replace him. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> See ya, kid. <laughs> See ya. Okay, you know what, why don't you just go and wait with the other extras, and as soon as Dylan gets here, we will get started. Okay, yeah, thanks. Okay. There he is. Sorry I'm late. I had to charge my Tesla. 
Well, excuse me, if that isn't the fanciest excuse for being late. Wow, so what, you're late because you went to Earth Cafe? That's where I charge my car, so I had to stop there. But before you say anything, I did bring you a sandwich. It's bacon and cheese. Thank you, but I would much rather have you on time than a sandwich. Uh, if you're late one more time, I'm gonna replace you with one of these extras. <laughs> wow. Can we get in the makeup, please? Don't be mean, that was so mean. That's me. Oh my gosh. We've seen so many of your movies. Oh, yeah? Can we get a photo? Yeah, yeah, why not? Of course. Nice, okay, tag me. Thank you. I'm telling you, it's Dylan. That actor you're always watching. Yeah. Well, I don't know, I'll ask him if I can get a photo. Okay, wow, that's, <laughs> that's pretty thick. <laughs> hey, everybody, uh, thank you very much for your patience. Uh, we are obviously just waiting around for two more actors to show up. As soon as they do, though, don't worry, we will get started. Uh, I think maybe we're gonna move some work up, so if you wanna have a look at scene two there. Uh, thanks everybody, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> oh, looks like I made it just in time, huh? <sighs> yeah, uh, we're waiting on Dylan again. <sighs> Typical. Yeah, that's not good. I hope nothing bad happened to him. See, the director doesn't seem too happy. Yeah. Dylan's been late way too many days in a row this week. Oh. Oh. I guess I'm gonna go talk to him, huh? Maybe it's time for a replacement. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't bother him if I were you. I'm sure if he needs someone, he'll ask. I'd hang back. Oh. Okay, yeah, see, this is why you'll never get a lead role. Watch out, son, okay? Just, what? <laughs> then we'll just have to replace him. Thank well, you. I'll, I'll do it. Excuse me? I'll, I'll do it, I'll replace him. It's uh, Noah, right? Yes, yes, Noah. What character are you playing right now? Oh, customer number four. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could work, what do you think? I, I, I mean, I guess, do we have a choice? I mean, we're out of time, just, just do it. Okay, okay. hang on. <clears throat> Told you, man. Okay, so just uh, put this on, dance around, pretend to be a big bear. What, okay, what, what is this? I thought I was getting Dylan's role. Dylan's role? <laughs> Why would we do that? Well, because he's not here, so just 
you know, give someone else the bear and give me his role. I believe the morning that I've had. I'm so sorry I'm late. Honestly, not my fault this time. Oh yeah, I've heard that before. No, I swear, somebody cut my charging cable this morning. And then, and then, I had to Uber here in a Honda. I, I can't even talk about it. Okay, well that's fine. You're not the only person who didn't show up. Eugene is missing too. But uh, hey, we got a great replacement for him. <laughs> oh, it's exciting for you. Listen, I had an idea I want to talk to you about, about a line change when I'm leaving Maze. Let's uh, go to makeup and we'll just walk into the hall. Oh, okay. So, uh, hi, Bruno. Okay. Hi, Bruno. Hey. Oh, hey, Bruno, nice work on those two lines yesterday. You really nailed it. Oh, thank you. Thanks, guys. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Do you, do you know where the dressing room is? Yeah, that way. Okay. Uh, nice costume, by the way. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> I come out of the coffee shop, mm. the electric cord is cut in half. I mean, I don't even know how that happens. I've never seen that before. Well, maybe it was one of your crazy fans. Oh, no, they would never. Everybody loves me. You <laughs> really? Hey, how are you liking the costume? Oh, it sucks, yeah. Not only do I not have lines now, no one will see my face, so. Oh, and this thing is all hot and itchy, so, yeah. Yeah, you look all sweaty. Oh, am I? I, I was just, yeah, I want to let you know. Oh. Careful. <sighs> Hey, Dylan, just a heads up. Your call time for tomorrow's new video is 6 a.m. Wow, okay. Well, then I need to set an alarm before I forget because if I don't, I'm not gonna wake up. So, I talked to the director and he likes you for the teddy bear rolls. So oh. You can play that again tomorrow. Really, that's, that's not. So I know that you're still eating lunch, but I just wanted to do a quick line through. So, just take a sec, come with me, and when you're done, you Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, um, no, uh, no, you don't have any lines, so just hang out. Okay, cute. I know it's not great right now, <laughs> but if you're patient, things will get better. Good things come to those who we, uh, please save it. Everybody does me not anymore. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I am your guy, right here. Oh, you, right. I remember you. Are you volunteering? Yes, I am. All right, if you insist. Are you familiar with Dylan's favorite? Lines, yes. I learned them all last night. You know, I had a feeling I was gonna need to learn them. I was gonna say favorite coffee shop. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, we ordered coffee and breakfast sandwiches for the cast and the crew, and we are short-staffed this morning, so we need somebody to go pick that stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, there's clearly a misunderstanding. I'm not gonna do that. I am an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Background actor, and you don't have any scenes this morning, so. Yeah, listen, yeah, you do this for us, and I will make sure to get you a couple of lines in our next production. <laughs> what I really want is to play the lead. Okay, actors, all right, um, listen, just between you and I, 
Uh, the, the director told me that if Dylan is late one more time, he's going to recast. So I promise I will go out of my way to help you <laughs> if you do this for us today. Are you serious? All right, say less. You know where it is, right? Oh, I know yes. exactly where it is. I hate actors. <laughs> you hate everybody. Oh. <sighs> Hey, hey, where are you rushing off to? Oh. Well, I am rushing off to my destiny and to get coffee. So. Oh, wait, can you grab me one too? Okay. Hmm. Look, Bruno, you are a nice guy, but I'm about to be a famous actor, so no, I cannot. You know? All right. That's him. That's the guy that cut the charger cable. Who, him? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what are you talking about? Uh, are you sure? Yeah, check your security camera footage. Your security. Okay, I gotta go. Not so uh, fast. You know destruction of private property is a criminal offense. Not only can it cost you a $10,000 fine, it could put you in jail for a year. It wasn't me, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Sure looks like you. How about we let the cops decide? Come on, you coming with me. Ow, oh. Wait, 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 all right. You don't understand. See, I'm an actor. <laughs> Great. Well, I got the perfect role for you. It's called inmate number one. Like, oh, no, please, no, oh, come on, no. Today's supposed to be my big break. Just let me, five minutes. I just need, five. okay, ow, ow. I, I don't know if I would do that if you know, it doesn't do it. seem <clears throat> worth it to me. But okay, everybody, uh, sorry for the delay. A lot of setbacks today. I just got off the phone with Dylan, and uh, I guess his alarm never went off. Uh, you know what? This guy always has an excuse. Are we really going to wait for him? I would, but he also has food poisoning. Oh. I guess he ate some bad sushi yesterday. <sighs> so he's not coming. But don't worry. We have an actor who looks the exact part. <sighs> Where is Noah? Uh, I sent that guy out for coffee like an hour ago and he's not back yet. It should not have taken this long. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah, okay. Hey, you know what? Since you've always been so patient and you always give 100%, no matter how small the role, you're now the lead. Really? Yeah. Wow, uh, I've been waiting a long time for this. Well, you know what they say, all good things come to those who wait, right? Let's get him through makeup, please. Uh, thank you. I'll order sandwiches for lunch. You want anything special? Sushi or anything? Um, I'll skip the sushi. I'll just eat the same as everyone else. Oh, thanks, though. <sighs> oh. 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 Oh, hey, I'm telling you, you got the wrong guy. Mm-hmm. Like I haven't heard that one before. No, I'm, I'm serious, okay? Look, look, I'm a famous actor, all right? Why would I damage the property? Right, yeah, everyone's famous in Hollywood. Oh, no, no, but I, I'm serious. Wait, I, I, oh, I recognize that video. That's, that's the video I'm in. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah. See, right there. Oh, I'm the teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm funny, right? Right. Yeah. And I know. No. Nice try. No, wait, no, no, no. I, I'm serious, okay? Please, no, please don't! Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh are you okay? Oh There's not even a wet floor sign here. This is a serious liability. The owner could make her a cash settlement offer. I don't think I can go back to work. That'll all be part of the damage. Wait, what? But that would put the store out of business.